and he uh, just knows what car. a good cause is all about. That yeah. car made its creator's hands in Dan Lofthouse's hands, won the British Championship a couple of years ago. And you can see his uh, water in the boat. Well, it is. It's two-thirds scale model. And it was uh, built as a prototype. First prototype. The car you're about to see going over the yump is still built by the driver. He does everything to that car. Works driver for the wife of Yamaha. Side by side racing again, really taking. As you said, please. You just kind of can't act all that, can you? Fabulous lad, he just kisses it down. <laughs> and that looks so sick. Latest ones you haven't even seen yet. Brian is the guy who organises all that and builds the moulds. Was and Richard Crossan doing a great job of getting the Safari Championship vehicles and the other <laughs> four. <laughs> Cars you see in here, they've got like they've got standard bodies on them, or near standard bodies. They're silhouette cars, really. They're, they're plastic panels screwed to a space frame. Uh, the one engine sound. And this is that car. Because it was effectively a car. That is just gorgeous. Uh, also working on a W12. There's a whole new concept. We're about to go completely different. There's something very, very, very different indeed. We're about to have a hooligan in Around he comes. It just shows the fact that the enormous flexibility of the car is the most important thing to the sound of the V8, but it's pretty bad. Over this way, He's coming for a bit of a fly. Go on, Jim. Catch him up. Let's see if we get the shot off the show. Catch him up. Are you for real? <laughs> 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 I'm going to take it right back down to the start of the climb. I'm trying to get the start of the climb. Come on, Chris Bowler. temptation to get racing while we're out there. You catch the dust of the car in front. <laughs> you know oh, Alex going out one more time. Oh, look at that Euro there. behind. <laughs> now look at that. That's a shot. So, in Dan Lofthouse's hands, it's the car's creator. Let's see him go over the hill again.
going or is he coming back for some more? We need to head on with Jim here. <laughs> Jimmy got a tiny jump boy. He's coming in for one more fly past. Let's see if we can get the shot to end all shots. Back to Jim. David and Goliath, because Andy's <laughs> running the biggest engine, and John's running the smallest. Oh, yeah. We'll be out together a little later on. But John crossing paths with Brendan Frost. Oh. Cobbley's going to be out in one of those very short leeward side saver and the navigator seat which is going to be a team to be hauled. This year as well. Such a short wheelbase vehicle. Um, some people straight in but it is good to learn to read the land. It's a, it's a crucial factor. Designed by Terry, who's driving it, designed by his father. Yeah, well, this is built for the French Championship because they had. Um, Meters, so there's a huge advantage in running a small engine. Championship vehicles. The vehicle on the line you can hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very through those. Steady around the course, but showing why the French Super Championship is competing or taking part in the Goodwood Festival of Speed 2017 here at the Off Road. Take off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Chapman looks so sleek. The car waiting patiently for two top French contenders. <laughs> Championship vehicles. It's a great size. Andy De Giulio with Tucker. Getting the glory of the championship car that absolutely dedicated to offer and register. Cody then taking it up around the top. Wow. Uh, so. Oh, Tony Coyd around the top there. What is it, Dan? Does it look beautiful? Of course, what is the British? Mike Moran and Tony Coyd come down, making this look so simple. The car and speed the foot your two. Leading the British Cross Country Championship and uh, doing very well in this car. Competing in this car. last about two weeks ago. Also, to do so again, I think he's setting his budget sights on 2020. Getting his budget ready for 2020 for a full attack. Definitely one of the dynasties within Off River Motorsport. Uh, but as I said, aiming to go out to the Dakar. Ah. You were one of the first uh, with Mitsubishi back in the day. Um, it's quite difficult to get work by driving. Seeing anything less than Dakar, really. And uh, Land Rover's blessing. It's a two thirds scale body. Which he created himself, he created all the moulds himself. Uh, supercharged, it's a six litre. It's the most powerful engine that Land Rover ever produced. Right, well, there are several copies of it, that's, um, so that you can buy a panel kit for it. It fits onto a, a Milner frame. So you could copy that. Uh, yeah. But what about that engine? He's saying it, he's not far off his old age pension, and he's, he's certainly got his bus pass, and he wants his man fly. Uh, amazing guy. Very, very focused indeed. Does incredibly well out in France in the production class. Two. Live action arena, but it is a static display there, and that's the one he's raced for years because he liked doing the production category. But he wanted one more track. He's done really, really well in it. Got some really good results. Which is the much improved one. <laughs> well, on the start line, just waiting to go. One of the fastest men in the country, Chris Bird, lined up. Uh, 
um, he's got flat shift, so you really get the pop on the uh, gear change. That's a characteristic of flat shift. Comes back. That's what the pop is. Harder now, so that uh, he, he had that earlier yesterday. Yeah, pal, he comes over the top, look at that. It's sad, he talks New Year's Day is a New Year present for Monsieur River and um, he's been shaking it down, testing, doing loads of testing, getting everything absolutely right on the car for a full attack on whatever championship he chooses next year. It, may be. it is, it's the truth of it. Uh, the Jim Rally very, very bespoke. Uh, uh, but he works with race recovery. Uh, if you haven't heard of the race recovery, it's four injured uh, military crews to get out there to race with. Uh, at the top end of the pits, you'll see Joy, uh, one of the other cars that took part with the rally raid vehicles, took part with the race recovery crews uh, with Barney, the navigator. And Joy was an epic story of her own. And should absolutely be through. <laughs> cars still to come. Uh, we've been talking to today about the festival speed. It's celebrated 25 years this year, as well, I think. Not only that. It's pretty with a pretty shape, the, the mini shaped one. It's, Five cars back. Yeah, it is only a mini shape. <laughs> it just resembles a mini. But it's got the cyclone engine, which is keyframe design, which is taking the in Europe, so that is testimony to the, if you like, a Fred in the Shed engine, which actually... Also, no mean mechanic himself. Uh, they've done a fabulous job of bringing this to you for this event, the Festival Speed 2017 here in Goodwood. Talk about game with Brit Park, a great aim for anybody, I think. Well, for his company, anyway. I mean, the publicity is really good. I mean, these our competitions are featured on television. So. This vehicle has been pioneered by by John Thorne, who's driving it today, and. Uh, Motorsport, obviously, uh, John's on himself at the wheel, and the first real uh, works back driver, Paul Yamaha, <laughs> popped into the navigator seat. I agree. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I uh, got to touch into the navigator seat to take it out, of course. But it's a good job we don't really need notes in it because you can't see any of them. This is Danny Tubbs, Danny Jr. Uh, Superb car. Been in there now for several years. Systems, a vehicle that can't wait beyond a certain amount and goes into a different. Around he comes, Terry Bandy, and Chris Burnham. arduous of all off-road events in Europe. Right winner of that event. And then Alex Cole in about 2006. Uh, we've only ever had one major winner at the scene. That was, of course, Pat Rose and Robert Rannabelle. As many of you may know, was the land speed record holder, and it was dug out of the sands at Pending and restored. Well, Pat, well, this is straight towards us, the Fender and the Safari Championship vehicles on the left. It doesn't get any better than that.
full power, full performance, peak performance, and all the game changers. Taking the pieces and the latest developments incorporated in the, for the next year. And there are new models coming out all the time. It's going forward in leaps and bounds. Off the finish line at the last event. Championship last year. Winning car. And. Uh, it's a great size, Andy DiGiulio with Tucker. Getting the glory of the championship cars. Final loop, see what he can do this time. Oh, look at that! Oh, fantastic! <laughs>